Hello again. Today's video, Kill the Homeless, Part 2. If you're enjoying these subjects, you should be sure to check out the blog. The link is in the About page. Also check out my books, specifically the American Outback nonfiction series, where I go into all these subjects at greater length. The link is, you guessed it, in the About page. And if you're looking for humorous t-shirts, you should check out my website, my other business, it's called monkeyboner.com, spelled exactly as it sounds. Imagine your city. You're driving around, walking around. There's no tarps, no shade structures, no tents, no dilapidated RVs. Well, you're asking yourself, where are the homeless? I'm glad you asked that. They are out on a rural piece of land known as the farm. There they raise their own food, they live in tiny houses, and the mentally ill are cared for. Uh, there's a mental health facility there for them that also has offices for visiting doctors and dentists. I'm just gonna stop for a second because there's something that's been bothering me. What is the deal with making food anthropomorphic, with giving them little faces, and this little dude's got his arms and hands. I mean, is this supposed to be appetizing? Every time I open the fridge, this little dude freaks me out. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Back to the farm. The farm is sustainable. Um, it's powered by a number of things depending on the location of the farm. It could be wind, it could be solar, it could be geothermal, it could be diesel generators um, powered by cooking oil. So who benefits from this? Well, pretty much everyone. You no longer have scary people walking around having arguments with their invisible enemies. The homeless they have a safe place to live. They're taken care of. They have pride and dignity in their lives again. Law enforcement, they don't have to spend nearly as much of their time and energy, man hours or woman hours, person hours, doing homeless sweeps. Obviously, there'd still have to be some because some homeless people are going to be in the cities, but it's not nearly as much work. Rural economies are stimulated um, it's basically a win all around. If you like this idea, hey, share this video, share my blog with your local representative. Who knows? Maybe we can move this forward if enough people are interested in it. Anyone who does not want to cooperate will threaten to send Mr. Scary Pickle to their house. Ho oh. ho. You don't want me to come visit. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that's scary. This is some much needed levity right now. Um, the odds are I'm going to be laid off in the coming weeks and I love where I live. So just indulge me. Until the next video, thank you for being here and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.